Morning folks, between the mud we already have, the snow we're getting, the weather that's coming, uh, the heifers that haven't calved yet that are outside will be able to fit in this little bunk line right here and fit in the barn at night. We don't want to take any chances with something that we miss calving outside. So we fed them over here and we're going to chase them in. Here's a little guy we pulled backwards yesterday, doing just fine. Been sucking, running around. The snow has stopped and it's sunny. We got five pairs ready to go in the barn, bring them out. So uh, they got some fresh air and more space. board here we go oh, he just kicked me oh you see that guys how rude come on So with the eight pairs that are already here and the five we're dropping off today, we will only need seven more to fill this pasture. Then we'll start dropping them off at another location, get that one filled. That's one way we keep our calves healthy. You know, we want them to be born in the barn because it's, it's soft and cold this time of year. But those barns, they just harbor so much disease that you don't want them in there very long. You want to clean them often. It's a lot of work, but it's a good way to keep them from freezing right after birth.
little bit of chaos for a moment. They usually get it figured out. Slipping a little bit. As I'm spinning out, he's telling me to pull ahead. I knew to pull ahead. I was just spinning. I had to get it in four-wheel drive. He's like, let's go, let's go. I was trying to go, but I couldn't go. But then I put it in the four-wheel chew, and then I could go. I'm a dick. Go, 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 <laughs> go. Come on, go. Oh, I never thought of go. Okay, go. <laughs> I go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You got that out of you. Yeah, I do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Another way to uh, make sure your calves don't freeze is push back your calving date. A lot of people have been doing it, you know, calving when it's warmer. You don't have to worry about snowstorms, and that would be awesome. We calve at this time of the year for a number of reasons. Uh, let's take, for instance, we pulled a backwards calf. You know, if, if we were calving in April, May, and we were out in the field all day, get back, we wouldn't, I mean, we, we'd come across that girl. She probably could have been calving for 12 hours. We were in the field that long. Especially calving heifers, you need to be around them a lot. So then maybe you're looking at hiring another guy just to watch calving. Well, that doesn't pay either. So we calve really this time of the year because there's not a whole lot else going on so we can just focus on cattle another thing is you know our bulls we sell yearling bulls they need to be mature enough to breed so by calving earlier that gives them a couple more months to age uh, get ready for that next calving season for our customers there's a number of reasons and uh, it, it all comes down to what your goal is and and how your farm or ranch is set up so yeah calving in the cold sounds like a dumb idea it's in our opinion our best option but some people they love taking their cows out to pasture letting them calve out there that would be a healthy way to do it all right we got a calf out there trying to suck and the mom kind of keeps circling really not letting it suck she's not doing it on purpose you know she's not like a, she's not mean she's just stupid um but right here just came in the mail from anywhere cam we're gonna step up our camera game so we're probably gonna have to get that mom on the head gate so that calf can suck. It keeps bawling, because it's hungry. So there's four cameras in here, and two of them are 4G cameras. So the 4G means we can put them anywhere. We don't need Wi-Fi. Our barn about 200 yards that way it doesn't have internet in it, like this one does. And so uh, you just kind of walk in there in the morning and find whatever you're gonna find. But now we can put the 4G one over there. They also have solar panels on them. So you don't need wiring that can be wired. Cool. Bring me a bottle. Okay. I'm gonna send you back. I can't say too much about him because this one's over here licking a pipe. Pipe liquor. These calves. You just don't know all the time. Today's song of the day is by Billy Squire and it's called The Stroke. And I'm not sure what kind of stroke I'm thinking about. Maybe I'm going to have a stroke. Or maybe I'm just going to call that the song of the day. Got the first one connected. Another cool thing about these 
is that it rotates so we can see more. That's pretty exciting. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing. <laughs> nice. A cake. And I can turn all the way to see this cow right here that is currently calving. Wow, we could never see over here. Oh man, it turned. Oh, geez, it turned so far I can see the wood where I mounted it to. We could never see those pens with one camera before. We got another flat tire, Ellie. Are you putting nails in my driveway? Dad is taking that to Storla Station. And when he gets back, he's gonna head over to the North Farm with the bale processor. He's got some cattle he wants to bed over there. So we've had this plugged in, block heater warming up. Let's see if we can get her to start. Good job, honey. Mind if I get that bag off its face? Alright. Good job. I can get the heck out of here. Nope. Oh. Big girls. Alright, barn's getting full already. And we just hauled five pairs out. We're situated real nice. The weather's going to be warming up again. Hitting 50s in a couple days. Looking forward to that. Got some new cameras up. Rotation. We can see more stuff. Pretty excited about it. Anyway, thanks for watching today, folks. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. That's a deep sleep. Are you alright? Hello? Hey. Wakey, wakey. Now you're starting to scare me. Hey, pal. Hey. Hey. Calf. Hey. Holy smokes, I thought you were a goner. Good morning. It was just a nap. Sorry I woke you up, but I want to make sure you were well.